Hello? Hello, peoples. Okay. How are we all doing today? I know I'm late. That was definitely not on purpose. Okay. Sorry about running late, peeps. Kind of had a couple things going on, and frankly... Had to take care of them before fully started streaming. But with that even said, let's see. So, one thing I did want to go and mention is that over the past, give or take, a week or so, I've been in the works of creating my own mod pack for um, Minecraft. And the type of mod pack is gonna have a vanilla-esque theme, but not necessarily solely dependent on the vanilla game. Uh, there are gonna be certain mods that are kind of game-changing, bring something new to the table, if you were. Um, but they're all gonna be integrated into the same type of um, the same type of end goal, of course. Uh, most of the uh, goals within Minecraft are revolved around going to the end, defeating the Ender Dragon. Of course, to do that, though, you have to go to uh, um, a couple other places first off. You have to go to the Nether to go and collect from there. Then you have to go ahead and... What, what else do you have to go through? You have to go through... Oh, Okay. 
Uh, then you have to go through uh, another to go ahead and get your blaze rods and then uh, possibly get your ender pearls from there from either the trading with the piglins or even the um, uh, killing of the endermen in the nether since they are quite uh, spawn heavy inside of the warped forest. But we're not focused on that. Uh, in this new mod pack, the end goal isn't necessarily focusing on getting to the end. More so, it's about progressing your way through Minecraft in a different light. Uh, I'll have more details about it in the later on, but uh, at the moment, that's what I got. Now, I was in my creative world um, last week. I'm going to just show you guys what I've been working on in there. And I have been eagerly thinking about ideas, builds, and other things to go ahead and implement for our hardcore series, such as in like, um, what, what would it be? Uh, like new build, uh, new buildings for like the actual home or like a mine building. So, uh, this this is just like a building template that I have for a build I want to do later. But, um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and do effects clear. Okay. That way we can stop that. Now, I got two different buildings here. I got this one right here, which is a smaller footprint. And I aim for this one to be mostly meant to be for like a mine shaft. Uh, of course, you got your, like, smelting goods and all that. This is supposed to be, like, your way of getting to and from the actual mines, going down one way and going up the other way. <clears throat> but, yeah, that's the general idea with the mine. Now, this building right here, this is uh, primarily what I want to have for my uh, starter house. Granted... I'm going to need to get some deep slate. I'm going to need to get uh, cobble deep slate as well. You need to get a lot of andersite and some smooth stone. Uh, another thing that I'll need to get is uh, dark oak and stripped oak. Frankly, easy to get products though. Uh, dark oak is going to be plentiful throughout this build. And you guys may have noticed it, but on the inside here, I actually got a slime block launcher. And it doesn't really work that well uh, if I'm not centered on it. So yeah, pretty standard. Nothing crazy of a build here. Um, definitely starter house-esque. So yeah, definitely what I want to have for my build. Uh, I do have a like little chimney thing right here that looks to be, uh, that looks like it has like a um, lightning rod on the top. I kind of think that's a pretty cool, uh, cool addition. Kind of has it smoothing out to the lightning rod there. I kind of like that. Um, and yeah, those are the two builds that I decided to work on and get going last week. Now, as far as what this is for, that's for a separate project, most likely for like a major base sort of deal. So let me go ahead and actually get into the game. That way we can go ahead and get started on this. Okay, this is going to take a minute to load. And there we go. It is nighttime as well. We got our horse here. And I'm going to go ahead and just sleep for the moment. And my horse decided to get on the bed with me. Interesting. Okay, let the game load for a minute and get that sorted out. Now, I still want to work on getting the mine going. Uh, I got the sand there, I got that there. Definitely want to go down a bit more. Okay. Now, I don't know what it is that's causing the stuttering effect. So I'll have to look into that, most likely off stream. It could just be the fact that I'm streaming and I haven't really noticed that well. Now, something I should go ahead and do. Um, I need to go and get some music going. Because we like to have our music playing in the background, right?
Okay. Drop that down a little bit. Uh, that and do that. Okay. Okay. So we got our music going there. Also that little that thing should have been refreshed. Come on. I don't know why it's not actually detecting it. Let me actually go and pull that up here. Pull up the actual... Uh, because for some reason, I'm guessing that's Pixel that's having a bit of an issue. Okay, that should go ahead and refresh that. And actually have it? No, it's not displaying right. Why are you not working? Okay. Mm I need to check last FM now. Cool. <sighs> like I can't check that. Okay, so I guess I need to open up that on the side. Okay, 
That uh, that issue with the um, web player browser that's just below my webcam, that's something that I definitely want to get fixed before we continue streaming. Because I know for a fact it's going to bug me like crazy. No, it looks like my dog decided to walk in. Hi, Copper. Uh-oh. What am I cousin? <laughs> oh my god. But... <laughs> it, 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 he sent me a funny picture, that's all I'm going to say. I'm gonna... Really piss off the DM. Yep. My cousin sent me a photo where it is pretty much, in essence, uh, the DM saying F you to the party. And all I gotta say is the way it's described. Okay. Uh, you should allow me to uh, take a look at my stuff in here. I have a funny feeling. Funny feeling. I'm not going to work. Last FM is being just weird. should have had this stuff sorted out before I started streaming. But apparently I didn't. I can't get into Last FM. Huh. Well, I guess, in that case, I am going to have to not use that. Lovely. That's a perfect way to 
find out that you can't use your display thing anymore. Uh, okay. <clears throat> well, it's not time. Um, granted, you guys have seen me inactive for the majority of the in-game day. Now, what is it that I plan to do? Well, first, I kind of want to finish off the house a little bit. Kind of seems a little bit um, incomplete, if you could say. Yeah. I think I am going to need to go mining now. Now, let me see here. Do I have any more... I don't think I got any... Well, I got a couple bits more iron. Oh, I, I forgot that I got so much copper. Ugh. And I do got a little bit of emerald. So if I could go over to a weapon or toolsmith, that would be in get okay. Get some stuff from them. Fine. Up. Uh, of course. No. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Did I uh, make a separate? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I did made two. Uh, those are the exact same treasure map. Yeah, I already got that. Okay, let's go down into the mine, shall we? Um, I should go ahead and put torches in my offhand. This is gonna take some time. I know that it possibly doesn't look best in your guys' side, and I have it set for bright. So, there's that. I'm really wanting to go and get some diamonds, but in order for me to get diamonds, I'm gonna need to mine down a considerable number. Okay, well I found coal. Okay. Oh, and I freaking broke my pickaxe. Great. Okay. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, where am I? Um, I'm totally like blanking out. There we go. Okay. Into my main hand. I'm not really too concerned about getting all the coal, so I'm not going to spend here, spend time forever mining it. But iron, I will go ahead and spend time getting. That is something that I could always... Okay. And this isn't really the most interesting, like, stream material, but it's- we're still in the early days. And remind you, this is hardcore Minecraft, so I'm trying to be as careful as possible without having to worry too much about certain things. I don't want to have to all of a sudden die in hardcore Minecraft and be like, oh. Well, that's the end of that. Oh, andesite, I actually need some for the build that I want to make. So, get all the andesite that I can. Uh, 
I just want to get all this in sight before we continue on. I know Greedy Me wants, wants all the material. And I think it should be good. One thing I'm really hoping that I would be able to find once when we get um, down a bit further is some amethyst geodes. Um, I know that we have one that's kind of like uh, protruding above the water, but other than that, we don't really have much in the area. In fact, I think that there's a couple protruding above the water now that I think about it. Um, <clears throat> at least from what I can remember from the last time. Now, something that also happened since last time is the fact that um, there was a copyright that came through on the last stream and I had to challenge that copyright and I'm still waiting on a response if the actual copywriter actually is going to response. I doubt they will, but um, yeah. And they can't claim copyright to it because uh, can't, claim, can't claim copyright to any of the music played in my stream. Because all the music played is uh, royalty free. So, in essence, I'm perfectly fine. Okay. Hey. Uh, go ahead and just place the torch right there, and then let's head back up top real quick. I got also a lot of cobblestone, so I can go in and complete my roof now if I want to. Okay. That's fine. I can work with that. Um, okay. And... Raw iron. I can go ahead and take that. And I can toss you all... into here. Got a bit of smooth stone in there. Got mutton in there, so I can go ahead and cook you up. And we should be all good with that. I want to wait till this mutton is cooked before I take any of it out. <sighs> because I want to go ahead and cook up this raw beef. Um, actually, do I have any more raw mutton? No, I do not. Okay, let that cook. Okay. That cook as well. Put the raw, uh, cooked mutton in there. You're almost done. You still got a little ways to go. Just in case. I don't think I'll need to. I think I might. Yep. Kind of thought that would be the case. Okay. So I got that. Um... And a site goes in here. 
Got a, 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 a plenty of uses for it. Okay, I got the end of that right there. What else am I missing? Ah, yes. Take the iron from there. I'll take out the raw iron as well. Um, nine pieces of iron. That, I seems, is pretty doable. And how much ping does it want to have? 22. So just be on the safe side. Take a bit of you. Oh. Uh, no, I don't want to be on you right now. Don't want to be riding my horse at the moment. Yeah, let's just go ahead and come down here a bit more and try and get down to diamond level. I could, in essence, just go over to a mine shaft and try and find diamond there, which actually might be a bit quicker, in all, in all honesty, or actually going through and mining in an actual cave. But I kind of like the idea of strip mining. It kind of is a little bit relaxing. Um, I'm, but just to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. And dip, 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 dip. No. I'm gonna go down this uh, like this so that way I can get down to regular deep slate. In fact, one thing I need to do. Uh da da da, -da. boom. Boom. That way you guys can actually see. Yeah, come on. Give me something to work with. Like I'm already down to 37. Oh. Mr. Zomberg, what are you doing over here today? Um, I bet is you're going to become a nuisance in a moment. Um, and let's see. Oh, and a skeleton is nearby. Um, I really shouldn't be down here without properly mined out equipment. And hello, Mr. Zomberg. Monster Hunter, first monster killed. And that seems like a deep drop. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and grab... Dust bird poop. Uh, oh shit! That <clears throat> that absolutely scared me. <clears throat> there we go. That's what I was looking for. Any more up there? No? Okay, I'm good. I don't Ooh. Damn it, I wish I had my Optifine. <laughs> because we got plenty of different goods down there. Hmm. Let's... Let's try and go down a bit. And see where we can get to. I am just going to go ahead and grab this iron down here. I thought I heard something. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's right. Um, stalactite and stalagmite, or uh, dripstone, dripstone and uh, dripstone and pointed dripstone. Gotcha. And then yeah, pointed dripstone, which can go in either direction. Me like. Rather not risk the chance of you guys impaling me. And let's go and shine some light on the news over here. Gonna get this iron. Okay, so we got a decent cave system that's pretty much right below our house. And I'm guessing this tunnel reaches a dead end. Yay! Hello, Mr. Zomberg. Hmm. Now I heard that I saw that there was skeletons nearby. Well, I don't want to go into an area that could potentially be my death. Because that would be bad. Oh, hello, lava. There is water down there, so I could use that to come back up a bit if I wanted to. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other shaft real quick. <clears throat> take a look at this one. My guess is that this one is dead end. Okay. <clears throat> Go and uh, get some food in me, because we are running low on on hunger. And I'd rather be at full health in case we do have to go out against any other mobs. Um, go ahead and just get sticks made, more torches, set it offhand, and in the clear. Okay. Now, let's see. You guys are going to be a nuisance if I get too close. Oh, come on. Come on. Of course you're going to be a pain in my butt. I do want to collect the XP. That's just going to be something I'm going to need. And I'm being very cautious because, obviously, I hear noises around me. Okay, that does collect all the XP. Let's not go that way yet. Iron. That's... Is that deep slate gold? Uh, na, 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 na. No, it's just regular gold. Okay. We haven't reached deep slate yet. Uh, I'm gonna get some light in the system here. Okay, so that this is what we saw earlier. Okay, there's some. Lava. Lava, lava, lava. <gasps> deep slate. And deep slate lapis. Okay. Uh, 
If I am right, this is Deep Slate, right? Yes, okay. Wanna check out the rest of this cave and Lava Lake. Okay. That clears me a little bit. At least of the slight anxiety that can come. Now I do the pickaxe that I got is pretty decent at the moment. Lapis. The first lapis that we are ever getting. That right there is an achievement in, in itself. Because that just allows us to start enchantment. But then again, we do need to find diamonds first. Because we need to go and get a enchantment table. And to get an enchantment table, you need diamond, obsidian, and a book. But I am going to go and collect at least... Uh, at least a stack and a half of Deep Slate. I don't know how much Deep Slate I'm going to need. So, just in case. Um, I might just do like two stacks worth of Deep Slate. And I think we should be good there. Once when I get like two stacks worth, I think I should be good. Because I don't think I'll need more than two stacks of Deep Slate. If I do, of course, I know where I can find it. At least now I do. And let's see. This is going to take a minute because Deep Slate, if I recall correctly, is a little bit tougher than regular stone. So it does take a slightly longer. Ooh, copper. I wasn't expecting to get copper in this made uh, in this uh, mining expedition, but I'll take it. Okay, that's two stacks worth of deep slate. I don't think I need any more than that, at least not for the moment. I do want to get Andesite, but I think I can hold off on that for now. Mm. I don't want to take the chance. So, get rid of that. Rather, it may only be like in that one spot. I don't want to take the chance at losing iron. because I could accidentally mine a certain spot and that certain spot being like uh, invest being like right next to a <clears throat> lava source uh, nothing over here on this side so we're all good there ooh me likey Ay, 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 that was kind of scary. Granted, it didn't hurt me that much, but 
seeing a skeleton just drop like that. Oh, yo, yo. And I really shouldn't be standing underneath gravel. Smart move, me. Okay. So... I need to go ahead and make some... Make another pickaxe. I should have made... Or made another not pickaxe, but regular axe. That would have been the smart thing to do before coming down here. So I think I'm going to need to go do that. Let's come up here. At least I know where I need to go. Okay, and at least I didn't actually go that far from my base, so... It's not like I had to travel, like, thousands of blocks before I actually had to replace my gear. Okay. Um, I'm gonna grab both of that, and then one, two, three, four. Curse of Vanishing. Um, seven attack damage. Does that do more than a Iron Axe? No, it does not. Put you back. Get my Axe made and get a pickaxe made. So that pickaxe that I got on hand is gonna die soon. Um, also go and swap out from bread to steak. I know steak actually has more hunger replenishment or more saturation that it gives. Yeah. And let's see here. That in there, that, 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 that. <clears throat> I don't need any of that on me. Up, up, up. <clears throat> and this one, just put two in there, two in there. And we want to put our lapis in here. <clears throat> Actually, that wasn't our first lapis that we've ever mined. But it was first deep sleep lapis. I will gladly go in and accept. And apparently there was some iron that I had in my um, top bar. Forgot about that. That should be good. I don't need any of this other stuff on me, so might as well just go ahead and put it away for the moment. I just want to make sure that I stay or as organized as possible. So I think that's Uh, it's getting close to nighttime, so we can go ahead and wait for a little while. Yeah, let's see here. I'd rather go and get geared up with additional tools just to be on the safe side. Um, and let me just see here. Pick it up for the moment. And. Thank you. Yeah, sword is only six attack damage. And then iron axe is nine. Less attack damage and a higher attack speed. So... In essence, I don't know why you wouldn't choose a axe over a sword in the early game. Okay. Um, with that in mind, let's just go ahead and I'll make another axe just to be on the safe side, and we'll leave the rest be. Okay. Let's go! Into the depths 
we shall go. I might go in. Okay, hello, creeper. Hello. Okay. That was not planned whatsoever. Thanks, Creeper, for giving me a slight heart attack. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and build this up. Oh, we revealed a little bit of iron that was behind here. I didn't even see it earlier. disturb that. Thank you very much. Oh! Yeah. I'll definitely take that kill. <laughs> Ooh. Now you're in a sticky situation, my bud. Do I have anything on, on top of me? Not that I can see. Um, okay. Uh, I could just go and knock that creeper into the lava if I wanted to. I don't know if I should. Um, it's gonna be stuck there, in all honesty. Having it stuck right up against that lava, it's not going to move whatsoever. Even if it is tracking me, it's not going to move. Because it's not gonna risk killing itself before it can come over here and kill me. At least I hope that's the case. So in essence, I should be perfectly fine. I don't see any other mobs that are around, so... Uh, I just hope that there's not gonna be any... funny buddies that are coming over- that are gonna come say hi. that oh glow squid oh okay forgot that you can get glow squid in uh, glow squid now and dead end i could go and mine all the andesite but i think that's something that i can do at a later point in time uh let's see here at least one thing's for certain i don't need to worry about mob too much. As long as I'm within a relatively... Ah, okay. That, that was the end of that lapis. Or not lapis, but pickaxe. Hmm. I'm still a little bit skittish right now because having those creepers that spawned... Oh! Oh! Okay. Thanks, game. That's a uh, kind of convenient timing. Yeah, that is actually kind of convenient. I was just talking a little while ago about how I need to go and find myself. I'm not too sure if you guys saw that, but there was a creeper over there. The Grim Reaper of Minecraft, in other words. Yay. And I freaking hate cobwebs. 
I think this is one reason that I should have a sword on me, because swords can actually break cobwebs a lot easier. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so there was a creeper over that way. Could there potentially be one that's nearby? I have no clue. Looks like I'm in the clear for the most part. Yeah. I could just be, uh, be I could just be being a little bit too cautious. <laughs> but then again, uh, caution never gets you far. Or at least, not without warning. Okay. Seems like the bridge collapsed right here. And there is some deep slate and redstone down there. Is there anything is? Okay, that's the spider hallway. Stay away from the spider hallways. I don't want to deal with a spider hallway. Oh my god, that's a lot of lava. That's a lot of lava. Ooh, deep sleep gold. <laughs> so distracted by just ores. Now, definitely don't want to fall off here. That's definitely not something we want to do. And let's just go ahead and explore, shall we? I don't want to go this way. I know I saw a creeper over here earlier, and that did go ahead and like te uh, tease me as far as like, hey, I'm over here. I don't think that it would have. Uh, I saw it. I saw the green. I saw the freaking green monster. Hello, Mr. Creeper. I guess you're just gonna ignore me. Cool. I have no quarrels against that. Perfectly fine. Light this area back up. At least with the Creeper exploding, it actually does get rid of the cobwebs a little bit. Um, now let's see here. Golden apples, gold rails, okay. Nothing ex- oh, let's just see here. Gold, golden apple, okay, so nothing crazy. Spiders are nearby. I heard the hissing. Amethyst Geode. I know I'm being like super, super cautious right now. But that's kind of like on purpose. You never know what's going to be around the next corner. Okay. Oh, that was a detector rail. Okay. Ah, uh, more gold bars, but nothing else that was too extraneous. Now, I gotta check here. Oh, I guess that I can't really mine you. Unless I got silk touch. Like, let me actually check here. Um. Mineable with an axe. No. I guess not. Okay. I should just go and leave those be because they do provide a little bit of light. Granted, it's not much. But as I said, a little is better than, a, than none. Eh. 
And hello, another mine shaft. Uh, check my surroundings. Now this is tough. Tough is another block found in Deep Slate. So I definitely would want to get as much of that as possible. Ooh, Deep Slate Redstone. That actually is pretty nice. If I recall correctly, Deep Slate Redstone actually gives more than regular Redstone. <clears throat> Correct on that, that is. Not 100% certain if I am. Alright. Let's see here. Deep Slate Iron. I was wondering when I would find some of you. Redstone. Okay, found another spider k a spider nest. Stay away from that. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> okay. Deep slate coal. You don't get a lot of deep slate materials down here. Okay. That was kind of scary, but at the same time, I should have expected that. Oh, that one's a food one. Yeah. Oh, glowberries. Okay. A name tag. Okay. I was wondering when I would find one of you. Um, nothing else. No, honestly. Might have just been a couple things that I picked up not without reason realizing. And coal, and gold, okay. I want to try and get enough resources as possible. Ooh, looks like I'm... Um, I don't really need the string. Yeah, go and get rid of the string. Yeah. I don't really need the strength. Um, I should just go and head up top and clear my inventory out because this is gonna be a lot. Okay. Um, go and just take a couple more bits. way too many iron or make way too much in terms of that so there we go i don't need the skelly bits um we went came from this direction oh no wait, wait. don't fall into the hole that is not good practice okay, we went all we're gonna go all the way down to the end of this corridor How much room do I got for that? Yeah, I got it. No.
Okay, that's enough lapis right there. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, actually, no. More lapis the better, so... Do I really need that many minecarts? No, I do not. So, get rid of them. Temptation's too high. Okay. Hello, little spider. Don't want to mess with you. I'm just going to have that right there. And climb the heck out of here. I do know that I have to come this way. And we just have to go up from here. Okay. Okay, get the, that HUD off. I don't need that. Okay, get the good stuff in there. Uh, raw, uh, raw gold is definitely something I'll need to take care of. Uh, put the iron biddies in there, and we want four pets. Yeah, four bits. I should go make another furnace. Um, that's something that I should just go and do now. I shouldn't have used deep plate. It was considered the first thing in my inventory, so makes sense why I would use it. Um, let's see. Also, something I should go and consider about making is a grindstone. That way I can remove the Curse of Vanishing Enchantment from the Golden Axe. At least that is something that I think I can go and remove from that, right? I am not sure. I am not 100% certain. Um, let me see here. I guess I don't know how to make the grindstone. Thanks for telling me that game. Okay. Um, what am I missing? Oh, okay. I need to get rid of the um, other stuff in my inventory. So let's go and get use these chests that we picked up. Okay. And now I think I'm gonna strongly consider having a. Um, sword on me. Mostly so that way I can get rid of the cobwebs. No, we want to put that in the nature chest. Now, glowberries, I don't know how much glowberries do. I just go ahead and try and get my hunger down a little bit. I want to get my hunger down a little bit so that way I can just ha uh, see if I can eat one and see how much saturation that gives me. Really? Come on, hunger. Okay, I guess my hunger is not going to go down. <laughs> okay. Just yet. 
almost gonna turn nighttime here in a minute. I think that should be fine though. Uh, da, 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 what am I forgetting? I do got andesite still on me. Let's do that real quick. Andesite and a deep light off, uh, off of me. Cobble off. I don't need the uh, gunpowder on me. So I can put that away. Same with the coal. Don't have enough room for that. So. Okay. Um. Uh, I don't know where I should put it. Let's put you guys both in there. Why not? Oh, and put the glow squid thing in there. I don't. I guess. I heard a skeleton rattle. Get out of here. You don't belong here, skeleton. Hello? Anyone home? No? Okay. Let's try going over this way and see what we can find down this little... Nothing! <clears throat> That's what it is. It is an absolute pile of nothing. That was nothing. Both directions that way were nothing. Okay. And we should be all good here. Back. The only thing we are missing now is getting back over to the mine. I'm gonna just take this um, for just the meantime. Okay, that looked like it was a zombie shirt for a moment. I see you. See you. You know, if you were a real human player, you would have already shot me. There we go. Let's just place a torch down there so that way that doesn't happen again. And it does look like there might be something down there. Can't really tell. <clears throat> um yes there is. There is a chest down here. Ooh, lure two. Everything else, not so good. Well, it looks like there's another chest over here. Um, mostly just iron and seed. Hello, Mr. Zomberg. Die. 
Could have been an easier kill if I just went ahead and did a jump kill for a critical. But I'm not too concerned. Also, it's past midnight. I should really go get some sleep. Am I concerned? Not really. Should I be? Maybe. Maybe I should. Ooh, that is a cave spider hallway. So if there's a spawner nearby, I can potentially use that spawner for some good. Some good stuff. Let's see here. This room always seems to have mobs in it. Now, anything over here? Not really. And then I do like the fact that there's geode right here. Granted, it's only like halfway forged into this area, but nonetheless, I do like it. any more torches. That is something that I really should have prepared for when I came down here. Well, I guess I can do it this way. Lapis. Never have enough lapis. Oh, good. But I don't think anybody's really going to admit to that. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Sorta. Um, no. More deep slate. Deep slate and dead end. Okay. I'm gonna just take this iron. Hello, Lava. Wasn't expecting to find you here. I don't want to die, but yeah, I'll leave you alone, though. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I'll leave that alone. Yep. Number one thing that I hate about mining this low. Possibility of running into lava. Well, not possible, but it's an inevitability. Training this like I'm trading diamonds, in all honesty.
Uh, don't mind that block yet. I want to check to see if there's any lava below it. That was going to be a trick. Oh. Boost me back around. How nice of you, game. This geode right here, is that at four or is that five? Um, I will check. Yes, it is. Okay. Mm. I just love the chimes that comes off of the, of the amethyst. Okay, now I need to go and get back up. I can always come back down to this geode, since I know where it's at, pretty much. Now where is it that you spawned at? Somewhere over here, I'm guessing. That is not something that I planned for. Okay. Ah, oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Oh, and hello, Mr. Skelly. Only a little bit, not by much. Mmm, glowberries, lapis lazuli, um, golden apple, lights. Okay, I can definitely take the lights because I will need that. a little bit of my health so I do want to check. Glowberries only give one level of saturation and they don't provide any additional benefits so I am better off just using that as like for farmable material. Not something that is going to be too useful. Mm, 
Okay. is perfect for the most part. Need to go back pretty soon here. Uh-oh. Oh my god, the skeletons are fighting. Huh, the one with the leather armor lost. And you died now. That's not something that you see every day where the mobs pretty much kill themselves. But it does happen on quite the occasion. shield because I really need want to get that not today achievement okay and you know how I said earlier how I shouldn't come back down here unless I have a sword and guess what I didn't bring a sword go figure right Um, let's see here. What am I looking for now? Well, I would say a way out, but that would be a lie. Because I'm not wanting to leave just yet. But I am wanting to go and collect some materials, such as in gold. Gold may not be valuable in the sense of protection, or in the sense of pools, or anything like that. But it is valuable in the sense for trading. Here we go. That's fine. Oh, hello, Skelly. <clears throat> Don't get another shit a shot on me. I know what I was about to say there. I'm not going to try and say it. Hmm. You look to be like an entrance into like a little cave. Oh, hello, Zomberg. Zombergs. Stay away. Jeez. Oh, yoy. Going with that many zombies at once, not necessarily a best idea. Uh, keep at full saturation so that way I can go and not worry about health the longer the better. Get some more lapis, because why not? And I'm full on inventory. Okay, uh, I guess I don't need the string, which I knew I didn't need that. And let's head up back up top. Go away. I don't need you, Zomberg. In fact, I could just go and toss your stuff into lava. You do not like me. I really wanted to, that is. The 
Okay. Yeah, let's go and toss the rotten flesh, because I don't need that. You're lovely. Okay. So that's the, um, ooh, don't fall. Don't fall in there. Oy, oy, oy. Don't scare me like that, skeleton. Skeleton. Don't. Don't you die. Ugh. I'm gonna head back up top. <laughs> but it is nighttime now, so... Essentially speaking, all mobs are hostile, pretty much. Hello, Salmon. Mm, come on, this way. At level 19 now, so... Pretty much today has been a full-on mining expedition, in all honesty, so it's not a bad call, I'd say. Uh, okay. Now, I do need to go ahead... I should go and have, like, an actual, like, light source in here, but I'm not really concerned. Uh... Let's see here. Put the carts away... I got more chests, so that's going to be useful, I guess. Um, yep. And we got more iron. More cobbled beef slate. Pretty good. I... Uh, any more? Yeah, I do got more copper. One, two. Put another one in there. Any more gold? Yes, I do. So put two more, two pieces of gold in there. That way the, all those get sorted. And sleep. Oh. Knuckle crack. Pretty good, I'd say. Get that strain off. And let's go ahead and sort our inventory out. Uh, let's see here. Put that away in there. You put that there. Put that there. Put that. Put that. Put that. Um, what else in here? Flinging out lapis, iron, uh, gunpowder going there, seeds going here, glowberries can just go in there even though it is an edible item. Um, let's put that in there. Oh, oh, frick, fricker, fricker. I did not want to do that. Horse, you didn't. You almost killed me. Granted, that was my own fault, but oh well. I could that like that. Um, there. Uh, all these ones are empty, right? In fact, you know what? There we go. That's better. Sort of. Okay, so this one can I just go and keep all my stone stuff. I 
I even want to get more andesite. That's something that can be a long-term project. Um, you can... I think that I have my amethyst crystals in here. Yes, I do. I want to move you over to that chest. Uh, um, all the mine stuff in here. And just put the bones and arrows in there, why not? Don't really have any other use for them. Uh, the book. That's a bigger issue. What am I gonna do? I should put it in there for now. And then let's see, go and get some foods. I'm gonna need food. Nom nom nom. So gold is done. Take the XP out for that. You're almost done. You still got a little ways to go, so. That's just gonna put you in there. That's gonna give us enough gold for a long while, but let me go ahead and put you in the gold bars. I don't want uh, gold blocks, I want just gold bars. I wanna at least have at least a stack of gold. And when I go into the nether, I'm gonna need to want to have some stuff, some good stuff. Okay. All right. Um, let's just go and sort this out a little bit because I kind of want this to be a little bit more organized. But gold and lapis on this last row here. Put iron, copper, and gold on the top row. And actually, I'm gonna need to put my lap it, uh, that there. Part of the sea, I don't want in there. Uh, part of the sea, go in there. Yeah. One piece of gold left, five pieces of copper. And you're gonna have how many? Decent amount. In all honesty, that's that's not bad. Okay. I can see that. Use that alone for the moment. Let's just head outside for a moment. And I wanna see here. Ah oh, yeah, this is the build that I had going on, and sugar cane has grown. Okay. And we can just go and chop down trees. Maybe go and get more wood. Whoever said you can't have enough wood is a complete liar. Let the trees go and decay on their own. And we'll be good in the problem. I really need to go and have like a exit that leads out for my horse. Maybe convert this exit right here into one. Or maybe this right here I can convert it. Maybe. I'm not sure. I am not sure with that. Okay, and let's see here. The iron is done for the moment. We got three pieces of raw iron left. That's fine. Okay. Um wood go in there. Sugar cane and saplings go in there. Now we got almost like full space. 
So take two pieces of iron. Um, and let's see here. You know, something that actually just came into mind. I potentially should go to make a super smelter. But I don't think I'm at that stage where I need it just yet. And like how what day is it in the game? 29. Uh that should be fine. I don't think that's too big of a deal, in all honesty. <sighs> Definitely copper would be something to go ahead and use. Eventually. But I don't want a chance at this yet. So I think you know I'm gonna do one more trip down into the mines. And then on my way back up, I want to go ahead and what do what do I want to get? I my end goal right now is to go ahead and get uh, diamonds. That's my end goal. By the end of the stream, I want to have some diamonds. Take this gold with me because why not? Didn't collect it earlier, which I should have. Okay. Oh, looks like you decided to go for a swim, buddy. I'll leave you to your own devices then. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. So that's the spider spawner that I saw earlier. really shouldn't mess with that. You know what? That spider spawner is actually going to be good for string. Ah, okay. Kelly. Let me go back up top real quick and I want to go ahead and get a sword. I'm going to need that. And the reason for that is because I want to eventually light up all around that cave spider spawner. So that way, one, I can prevent spawning temper. Oh, baby zombie. Baby zombie, baby zombie, baby zombie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whew. Okay, I hate baby zombies. Um, what was I saying? Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Um, I want to convert that spider spawner for the cave spiders into um, a <clears throat> XP farm, pretty much. It'll be a good source for string and spider eyes if I ever need that. But primarily it's going to be for the XP. That's going to be the primary purpose of it. At least that's my goal. We will find that out here momentarily. Um, go to daytime. And then... Uh, I don't got enough resources. Uh, I should actually have enough resources. I don't know why I just said that. Take us, get a sword. Um, I'll uh, smelt that up later. Bomb chest. Okay, I think I should have enough. 
Now to make a cave spider spawner, last time that I did make one my own on my own, is that one you need to go and make sure that there are a good amount of half slabs that are preventing the cave spiders from getting uh, to getting to you. Okay. The reason for that is because the cave spiders they are in height one point I believe one point three five blocks. If I recall correctly, it's 1.35 blocks. So if we go ahead and have some uh, some cobblestone stairs, for instance, that are blocking the actual like kill chamber for the spiders, then we'll be perfectly fine. Okay, we will be perfectly fine. And as long as we stay, how much? How long? How far of a distance? I think it's like. A block and a half, or maybe because I think it's uh, they can go in and poison you within a half block range. So if you can at least stay one block away, you can essentially go ahead and prevent them from poisoning, if I recall correctly. So let's try that, shall we? Uh, let's see here. Um, okay, let's grab that, and I want to grab a stack of cobble. Convert the rest of this small stack into, uh, go ahead and use get wall for that. I don't know how much I'm going to need, but I don't know. Okay, this is going to be fun. Not. Oh, hello, Zombergs. Hmm. You feel like you guys finally decided to come on out. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Get out of here, Zomberg. Oh, and you got a enchanted sword. No. No. Bad Zomberg. Die. Give me that sword. And you didn't give me the sword. For curses. And it looks like the baby Zomberg, uh, baby Zomberg died. Okay. Whew. As long as the baby Zomberg died, I am perfectly content. Is that a zombie villager? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Or it was. For that matter. And my, oh my god, you guys are just spawning like crazy. see any more Zombergs nearby. This is gonna be the one dangerous part about coming to the spawner every single time every single time. Um having to go ahead and trek through that ravine. But in essence I think it will be worth it. Let's go ahead and Take a look here real quick. And what do we got over here? Something uninteresting. Okay. Now 
Now, if you weren't careful, like some of us are, zombie gun. Zomberg nearby? I am not sure. Regardless, I need to go ahead and be extra careful here. I don't know how far away that spawner is. I want to be excruciating careful, in fact, get rid of that lava source because I don't want to all of a sudden be smacked into that by the spiders. Or when I'm running away, I don't want to go into that. That looks like the spider spawner is pretty deep in there. This is going to be a good amount of, like, resources going to get strained, but... Oy, oy. Hoping that this would be a bit more. Wait a second. I need to go and check something here. Um... You can use a bucket of water, if I recall correctly, to go ahead and get rid of... strain, can't you? There's the spawner. Okay, that one just died. Okay, that should be fine. Oh! You're getting rid of all the- you're getting rid of the string there. speaking that's perfectly fine then because I want to be able to just disable this spawner and it looks like I've done just that because of oh now if I recall correctly cave spiders they are 100% hostile as in they cannot become docile toward you Unless you go ahead and have a cave spider a mod, which now that I'm looking at this. Okay. That gets us what we needed. Let me go ahead and come up here real quick, and I want to plug up this lava source. There's another cave spider down there. You gonna come up this way? Nope, because I'm not gonna let you. I don't want cave spiders coming down on me, and I don't want cave spiders coming below me.
I mean, I, with that being right there, I don't want to really chance it. Also, this is something that I can go ahead and grab. Chains. Okay, now let's see here. Ah, seems like you have quite a few friends down here. And they've already poisoned me. Come on. I knew that spiders were, uh, um, freaking cave spiders were strong, but, ugh, this is on a different level. Poisonous effect definitely can go and kill you pretty badly. You're not careful, that is. Not careful. Dumplings are... Okay. More saturation. Not much. It will work. Okay. I know there is at least a few more. Poison, in case you guys don't know, only gets you down to half a heart. So if you're not careful, you can die. Just after getting poisoned. Okay. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to head up top. And... Head up top, grab enough food that's going to last me a little bit. No, oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah! That was totally my fault. I wasn't prepared enough to go ahead and be down in this cave, but yet I insisted myself to do so without even realizing the fact that I could potentially die. Well, let's just go and down, go down there real quick. So this is over by where I died. Where is that skeleton up? I was shooting him. Yeah, right there. Okay. I should have noticed that. I don't know why I didn't. Ugh. Okay. That makes things really, like, really sad. The skeleton was literally right there. I don't know why I didn't try and kill it first. Oh. Oi, oi, oi. I hate, I hate it when I do that. 
I really do hate it when I do that. Okay. Well, Skelly, you got the best of me. In fact, you got the only me. Inside of this world, so... Once when... Ay oh, ay. That was kind of an anticlimactic way of dying. Dying to a skeleton shooting at you that you didn't even realize was there. Ugh. I feel so disappointed in myself. I'm gonna pause the music for a moment. Okay, well, I'm not too sure what to do from the here. I'm pretty certain that, as far as live streams go, I would want to continue doing Minecraft, but the thing is how hardcore isn't necessarily going to be something I am going to enjoy. I might go ahead and in the future, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and save and quit the title. Because, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys something here. Uh, give me just a second here. Uh, the screen is just gonna go ahead and show something that is not what I want. Okay, <clears throat> so, for those who don't know, I am working on a, on a mod pack. I mentioned this mod pack earlier today. And uh, now, let's see here. This mod pack is on the Curse Forge, of course, serve, uh, system, so, or platform, I would say. Okay. And. I want to do is I just want to go and see here. Here's Forge. Start it up. And. Loading. Which I'm guessing is going to take its time. How lovely. How lovely that you decided to go and take your time today, game. Uh, to, uh, computer. Also, I'm just going to turn on my regular light. It's getting a little bit dark in here. Granted, I have my little film light on, but it doesn't really do the justice all that well. I would need to get another film light, most likely. Put it right above the webcam. That actually would be better for this one right here. That or I move the webcam over to that side. I'm just thinking aloud to myself at this point in time. Um, let's just go and see here. Overwolf. Who should? Opening. Okay. Now that's loading up on the wrong screen. Don't want stop. Okay. That's just my fault. Doing that. Okay, so this is the mod pack in its current state. I haven't test I haven't played around with it in about a week's time, so uh I am working on increasing what I got in here. There's a few different mods that I want to get added in, but I want to work on it a little bit more before I make any adjustments, as per se. Okay. 
Because right now there's only five mods in total. That's it. I could go ahead and let's see here. I need to open the folder so that way I have it open on another screen. And let's see. What are you gonna open up at? Mods. Okay. Now, a few different mods that we got in here. We got N Reborn, which I actually like the N Reborn mod. N Reborn. Terrible at spelling. N Reborn mod, which, for those who don't know what it is, it's pretty much a mod that transforms the entirety of the end reborn uh, end itself new uh, new materials um new stuff actually a new, good amount of new stuff uh tungsten and endorinium um tungsten processes items tungsten and endorinium pixels yeah tungsten and endorinium plates yeah so it does actually have good compatibility with mechanism mod, the immersive engineering, the endergen energetic expansion. Okay, sledgehammer recipe, and the Ogana plant generation. The quark mod, uh, which is endstone button, purple wall, obsidian framed of glass, vanilla boom, essence block, and door tile pillar okay um i didn't even look at compatibility when i was looking at the map uh, when i was looking at it myself so let's see here for in game guide you can download the patch out mod um and then fabric version of the mod is also right there in the link uh for in game guide you can download that but yeah um that's I do have that already listed for this is mostly just for the people that aren't familiar with the mod and for the mod pack once when I finish it at the moment I am not going to be like sending uh, sending this out as like a public mod pack anytime soon because guess what um this mod pack I have only tested it a couple times I haven't tested it all that much in all honesty I'm not joking you. um what I can do here is I can just go and take a look at the Worm Roost mod, which is actually one of the main mods for this game, uh, for this mod pack. And essentially, it just adds dragons, different types of dragons. There are, from what I was able to tell in my testing world for this mod pack, is that there is, um, like how many? Eight different dragons. Four of them being tameable. Well, four of them being tameable slash writable. The other four are tameable in a way, but at the same time, one of them is extremely hard. Uh, I will show that later on, but um, there is a couple things here. So yeah, that's the Worm Roost mod. Uh, let's see, what else did we got? The mystical agriculture. That's one thing that I forgot about. I'm um, just gonna go and go to curseforge.com. Um, we want we want mods. I don't want mod packs. I just want the individual mods. Okay. Uh, um, well, let's just go ahead and get mystical. I really need to go and turn off the caps because I don't need them. Mystical agriculture. Pretty good mod. Uh, the cucumber library. Uh, get mystical. Uh, yeah. Pretty good in terms of like the stuff that you can make with this mod. One of the main reasons that I wanted it. Now, another type of mod that I need. Um, or not necessarily need, but want with this mod pack is because, uh, we pretty much want to keep 
not necessarily the vanilla theme, but more so bring a different style to the vanilla aspect. Worm Roost is a really good uh, like example of this. Worm Roost just adds the different mob types, and it adds uh, a couple extra armor pieces that give you additional buffs. That's all it does. It doesn't add anything uh, too crazy that would be game-changing, but it does go ahead and make things interesting for a long-term campaign, a long-term playthrough. End Reborn doesn't really change any of the base game itself. It just changes the end. It doesn't change anything in the overworld. It doesn't change anything in the nether. But that is one thing that I like about that. Mystical Agriculture mostly focuses on the... Um, oh, da, 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 da. I'm blanking out here. Mostly focuses on... Uh, the actual, like, essence itself. Essence of having agriculture that seems almost magical in a sense. I know that's kind of like a play on words from what I was using there, but that's essentially what it is. Let's see here. Um, There is a few mods that I do want to get as well. I want back MC mod selection. Now, what type of mods? That's a different story. Uh, for one, I might go and have... Like, I don't want to have mods that are based around, like, high-tech. I don't want it based around high-tech science fiction, okay? But if it's based around fantasy, like high fantasy, such as like medieval times or uh like based around like D D or something like that, then yeah, I would want to consider adding that to the mod pack if it is compatible. Um there are some mods that I can't go and add because of the fact that they either require fabric or something else. And I rather not have fabric as a dependability for this mod pack. Um that is just something I don't want to utilize. Now, every single time that I do utilize the mods, uh, I want to make sure that they work in conjunction with each other. So right here, you guys see the list of mods that are being, uh, that are going to be ran, but you guys aren't going to uh, see. Uh, like, when I'm testing the mod, I want to make sure that we don't get the splash screen that says mod is, is incompatible with current version or uh, X mod is unable to load due to not uh, due to it being a fabric based mod or something else along those lines i want to avoid having those splash screens come up and that's something i want to consider when i am um creating this mod, uh, mod pack now world gen might be something i want to look at technology i don't really want to look at anything too fantasy s um in fact i don't want to get anything that's high fit high tech magic base and eh, that's kind of pushing the realm of boundaries a little bit granted magical agriculture is already in that spectrum now let's see here what do we got um i need to make sure that it is currently uh, currently compatible with 1.16.5. Because if it's not, then I can't use it. Now, Ice and Fire mod, that is something that I am considering. But that's just adding in additional stuff for like, let's see here. <clears throat> we got dragons, uh, ghosts have been added, lightning dragons. Liches and Hydras. So, in other words, more dragons. In other words, I don't want to have more dragons than what I already got. Dragon skeleton, dragon roost in caverns, dragon eggs, taming, and writing. Now, in essence, this is pretty much the same as the Worm Roost mod, but the Worm Roost mod is bare bones of ice and fire. It's not focusing on anything else related to dragons, it's just focusing on the spawning mechanics for dragons, and the ability to tame some of them. Not all of them, though. 
Some of them are tameable, some of them are not. Uh, so I may just leave Ice and Fire out of this. Uh, I'll, I'll most likely look at that later on. Enchantment descriptions I can't use because that requires fabric. If, um, if I just go and open it up here in another tab. Yep, requires forge and fabric. Um, yeah, but I'm not doing that. I'm not. Blood magic, don't want to use that. Uh, Silic. Mousy's mobs. Yeah, maybe. Powerful overworld enemies and more. Ah, uh, I forgot that there. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh. That's something. Yeah. Mousy. I forgot about the, the mod pack that they, uh. Uh, yep, the man-eating plant. Oh, this one. The, pretty much the... Oh. Lost underground many years ago, these heavily armored knights are not men, nor are they statues. Are they guarding something? They have forgotten what? Are they waiting for something? They have forgotten when. Are they mourning someone? They have forgotten whom. Are they known? Uh, all they know is to slay those who approach their chambers. Interesting, because I would potentially add this mod to the pack. Just to add something else because of this mob right here. Because it could be just a challenge boss. Oh, I know these ones. Mousy mods. Oh, yep, you're the, you're the king of those guys. Oh, the frost maw. Oh, you're you're a mad but mad bee. Frost maws are dangerous bees found rarely in snow by, snowy areas. These ma uh, their massive size, impressive speed, and powerful ice breath make them near impossible opponents. If on your travels you encounter one sleeping in your path, it's likely best to keep it. Uh, you take a different route and let it lay. The best guards, a precious ice crystal that can unleash these guards, are ice crystal that can unleash pure winter energy when you feel interesting. Oh, these ones, these are like stalactite bugs. Oh, okay, lanterns, which are pretty much glowing, glowing slimes that fly and pretty much provide light and dark. A dark oak forest. That's pretty much the, what they are in essence. And Naga. Even though Nagu or Naga, yeah, Naga, like uh, da -da -da -da. <clears throat> those these drakes are evasive. A well placed arrow can knock a Naga right out of the sky. Yeah, they are pretty much. They are, can be dangerous. Oh yeah. So many people have actually like done mobs on them. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah. Potentially, we could potentially add this mod pack in. I'm like ninety percent certain that I will add this one in, mostly because of the Pharos uh, Rothnot. Pharos Rothnot. Pharos Rothnot. Me like. Foliath or Foliath. Yeah. Fold E off. Yeah, Foliath. Um uh these jungle lurking plant monsters that uh want nothing more than to eat anything that moves. They may seem or like ordinary ferns, but they emerge if you come close. You can't get close enough to strike them, so find some other way of killing them. They drop Foliath's seed. To grow a Foliath, uh, obtain a seed and plant it right. Uh, plant it by right-clicking on grass or dirt. Every half day or two days, feed the baby Foliath by tossing it a meat item. Then it will emerge as a full, fully grown Foliath. Be careful. 
Grown Folios aren't tamed and, uh, and will still attack you. So even if you raise them by yourself. I could do that. Mousy mobs, I don't mind, but at the same time, it's interesting. Inventory pets might actually be something I add as well. Forbidden slash arcana. Maybe, maybe. I'm gonna check both of these ones real quick. So inventory pets, uh, pretty much just mobs that you can just go and have that give you a additional buff. Um, yeah. If you guys want to see this, you are more than welcome to. Uh, I'm just going to move this over on my left screen. Right screen, actually. Yeah, so, there is a lot of different mobs. I should really go ahead and take a closer look at this before I even consider adding it. It is one of the mobs mod packs that I was mods that I was considering adding to the mod pack, but not yet. I haven't decided which mod packs I want to or which mods I want to have included. Forbidden and Arcanus. Uh, this is. Let's see. Share the original report credits. Use this mod slash data pack file on your world server. I mentioned late 2001. Um, okay. I'll have to take a look at this mod in itself. Um, what are the images? Eh. New armor sets. Arcane crystal ores. Cherrywood tree. Interesting, okay. Not too sure what the significance of a cherrywood tree would be. Mystery wood tree, decorative candles, fancy candles, powerful tools and weapons. Interesting. Uh, transforms into dark. Okay. I'll have to look into that. Uh, it's a mod pack that I'll have to look at. Look, not mod pack, but it's a mod that I'll have to look at individually. Um, but with that said, I think while I'm looking through all these mods, I'm just going to end off the stream here. And frankly speaking, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's going to end the stream for this uh, for this time. As far as I'm concerned, we will be back sometime next week. I'm thinking on Thursday next week, more specifically, and. We may not be back for more Minecraft, but we might be back for something else. I haven't decided yet. It's something still in the works as far as what I want to do. But with that said, I'll check you guys in the next live stream. Have a good one, everyone.